Code reading is the process of entering thousands of codes and bases until this happens. You're probably acquainted with the code raid method back in the day. It went something like this. Find a clan base and try thousands of codes. If you're lucky, you get in and cast chaos. Now, that's pretty hard to do in the sense that it will take you too long due to the new lockdown feature that the doors have. I made a program and a new method that can change the way your wipes go. And if the odds are on your side, I got it. you can get into a base in less than an hour. <laughs> this is how it works. Instead of trying many codes on one or two bases, you try moderated amount of codes on multiple bases. Ideally, 10 to 15 will improve your odds. It's kind of like when you suspect your girlfriend from cheating and you try to <laughs> uh, use the most common passwords on her phone and, and then she finds out and, and you end up pushing her and accidentally she gets hurt and cover it up, call your, your uncle that works at the police department, you just bury the body, it's just... I'll digress. Now, imagine she has 10 phones, each with a different password. Your odds of finding it by putting in the most common ones will increase tenfold. So, if you need a quick start, this might be the option for you. I brought a bunch of people together from our Discord. The link is on the description to test this out in a large scale. It was a mess and not the outcome I wanted, but it was it was fun. So, how about we go home invading some players? Also, you should you should change going to settings options and then into controls no right here misc developer console if you have a mouse with buttons on the side use those buttons to open your console that way it's faster mm -hmm. right and craft 15 bags for yourself i mean technically this thing's allowed right like we're not cheating or no. anything we're, we're not it's, not cheating. Rating. it's just rating rating. Is like not paying the game code rating is not cheating and using a program to keep track of what codes have been inputted is definitely not cheating well yeah, uh, yeah. When, when we get to that to that part where we're gonna do the the whole give it a gap i'll show you mm -hmm. uh the fastest way to to handle the code uh, the code system i'll show you what i mean so this this is gonna keep track of all your bags and uh, and and the codes that are inputted into those bags and automatically after you die it will cycle to the next bag and then you can open your console and all you have to do is control paste um whatever is copied into your clipboard and that will spawn you in the bag that follows so you can keep track of what bag the this is the most moderate uh the most moderate zerg i've ever seen there we go we have room I've would tested it actually it. work i've tested it three times or twice actually and i had I mean, one one time I got one base, and the other two, uh, the other time I got two bases. Would it take it's, hours? <laughs> no, I think one hour if if you're lucky. Yeah, I see. I see. I think it's fifty codes before fifty codes. If you're doing 15, 15 bags, uh, the probability is one or one to two bases. Do you want us to go ahead and open it or wait? Uh, open it. See if any any errors arise because I compiled it pretty quick. I uh, hopefully it should just run. If it doesn't, oh. then if you get an error, then f I have to probably recompile it. There's Where no code yet. Mine open just fine. All right, Where am great. I gonna find the thing? Oh, Jesus. Where am I, go I going to find deeply the sorry for my sins. <laughs> Okay. Wait, what language do you call this like program in? Python. This is 100% uh, Python. Python powered. All right. Damn, so, all right, all right, all right. Everybody, everybody, everybody. If you already got it on, like I said. This is the portion where you guys need to pay attention to run, okay? First of all, don't get anybody else's bases. You do not want to be inputting the same code in the same <laughs> basis. So you gotta get your own bases. And spread around. Don't go in the, in the same direction. Everyone go whoosh, in every direction. Uh, let's find a quick base so I can show you a little something, something. All right, right here. Pop. And then you hit it with your, uh, with your torch once. Remember, or twice to make sure. Remember to clear your uh, your battle log, okay? Um, okay, I don't have a torch. You think a pickaxe would work? Anything that does damage to the bag. Okay, and then okay, okay, okay. Battle log. Combat log. Why? Only hit your bags. Don't hit anybody else. Uh, any, anybody else's bags, or else you're gonna. <laughs> um, you go into uh, start add bag list, and that would add the bags to your uh, to your kit. Okay. Z, are you here yet? 
up, hit it once or twice, and then move on to the next one. Right? If you um if your back gets destroyed or or you're unable to um to to co code rate a base, you can remove the back by clicking here. And now it's I can add them. Organizing by bed. You you have multiple bags, right? All right so I, I put those two down, right? Now I have two bag, bags right here. When I select one bag, it automatically copies to my clipboard the spawn command for that bag. And then when I switch to the other bag, it automatically selects that other one, right? Um, no. Trust me, this is what you want to do. Um, oh, so this gets you respawning quicker? Yes, you can automatically, as soon as you sw it switches, you respawn. So you go in, you input a code, five codes, and then you do right arrow to move on to the next code, right arrow to move on to the next code, right arrow to move on to the next code. And then when you're at this code right here, you're going to die. What do you do then? You do right arrow again, and that's automatically going to switch you to the next bag in the list, which is your second bag. So at that point in time, you're dead. You press your F1. Control paste, and that's your paste the uh, the bag that that follows, and you spawn so in in your next bag. bag. Yeah, exactly. And then you go again, same loop, and it will send you to the next bag, and next bag, and next bag, and next bag. There's two audio cues when you switch between bags, which sounds like a, like a wrong sign sound. So that's that sounds like a wrong sign. And then when you when you're moving either forward or back. Uh, I'm changing it using a um, left and right arrow to increase and left arrow to decrease. In case you you don't need to decrease in case you accidentally fuck up, uh, that's when you decrease. But mostly it's just right arrow. If you see the timer on the number, that means you have you have to wait for that timer. You're rarely gonna see if you put all your backs down, you're not gonna see the timer. Uh, but that's that's the, the the buffer time that each door has. Okay, so if you see it, don't. Uh, don't, oh, don't the right arrow you know. just switches your bag and your well no no the right arrow changes um the code, code. that you need to input right yeah. the what switches your bag is if you go five codes in yeah. that means you're bag, dead yeah. yeah so you want to um, do five codes per door and then you die okay. and then you do another code and that would automatically switch you to your to your next bag one hour later holy f i just got a code boom holy f Boom! Boom. <laughs> okay, okay. 13, 13. Told you, 13, 13. I got a 13, 13, 13. ones too. Uh, uh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I just realized oh. I had like music playing in the background. <laughs> Copyrighted music. God damn it. No. No, it's fine. It's we fine. It's fine. For these. it's fine. It's fine. I see. Is that you jumping around with yeah, a. Yeah, yeah, I'm over here. We're so flabbergasted. What's the base? This one I hear on the right? Yeah, this is what I hear when I built the, the ramp on. <laughs> <laughs> bro, build this on, jump up. Bro, build this on, jump yeah, up. Yeah, I didn't. I had to like jump around. I didn't uh, want to do that, so I just I made it easier. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> by all means, man. All right, let me uh, let me try it out. Oh my god! Oh, we this. did it! All right. Hey, it means it wasn't all for nothing. I'm telling you, dude, I'm telling you, one hour in, if you got, like, enough bags one hour in, the pr the probability of getting one base is oh, extremely man. high. That's our kids. God, look at that wood. I need to... Fuck these guys. Look at that fucking wood, dude. The wood box is crazy. The comp box is nice. Wait, which one is it? Uh, back left. Back left. Uh, and back left. Then let me take we got an airdrop, too. Oh, uh, guys, guys, Great guys. Large bag. Can I get a Wait. can I get a thumbs up for the for a screen? For yeah, one sec. Let snap. me get out of this box. Here, I'm um I'm a uh, right. dog's blood the chloride. We just box. we just uh, spooked right now, cause we we're What's a bit spooked because three? we don't want <laughs> tier three thousand low grade five hundred uh, crude. Get, get rid of them bags. Dude, the amount of cloth they have is just so. Will you say that took you less than an hour or more than an hour? Um, honestly, I'd say it took me like 30 40 minutes, maybe. <laughs> you give me all that we'll scrap, see. I'll triple it. I'll triple that scrap for you. Triple that scrap. Oh, that cloth. Look at that cloth, bro. I feel sorry for them. They're so sleepy. I know they just they couldn't help themselves. 
Yeah, you sleepy, man. 1313, that's a no brainer, man. Come on, come on, man. Everybody knows 1313. Everybody knows 1313. For those that are still watching, thank you so much. I hope the video was clear and helpful. I wanted to tell you how much I appreciate everyone that subbed. We just hit 2,000 subs. It might seem small in the vast world of YouTube, but to me, it feels like a million subs. Also, a special thanks goes out to everyone who helped out in the Zerg, and especially to my Patreon members. We were right here and uh, right here. Um, thank you guys. It's because of your support that I can continue doing what I love, which is making things. Um, for those who aren't able to become a Patreon member, just subscribing to the channel goes a long way. If you have any ideas on how to improve the Home Invader 3000, please let me know in the comment section. As always, the program is free to download on Patreon. Link is on the description. Thank you.